Tammy Buns, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Off you're just joining us now. Welcome! Oh, I've just remembered I wanted to do that cool thing where I like get in the car before the video starts. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Hi! Okay, that was not as cool as I thought it was gonna be. Anyway, today's video, I wanted to jump on the bandwagon of doing going to the worst rated places in my area video. Yeah, so as you may have seen, there's a trend on YouTube currently where people are going to the worst rated places in the area. I've seen people go to the worst rated hotels, nail salons, food restaurants, just the worst rated places in the area. People are going and reviewing it. So I wanted to jump on this bandwagon. So the original creator of this whole worst rated place idea is from Philip Solo TV. However, I was inspired by my friend here on YouTube, Becerra Blair Walnut. I will leave her channel and his channel below. Blair is literally the funniest girl. I love that a bitch. She's just a true angel. So I got this idea from her. She recently went to the worst rated um, nail salon in LA, got some nails. They were okay. They weren't that bad. But anyway, I'm going to be going to the worst rated nail salon in Newcastle upon Tyne, which is where I'm from. I'm sure how to find the worst rated place. So I went on to TripAdvisor um, and tried to find it. There was nothing on there. So then I went on to Google Reviews and was looking for the worst rated one. Now, the worst rated one I found is two stars, which is pretty bad. Um, and I'll put some of the reviews on the screen. The wait was over three hours. The service was poor. The workers didn't listen to what I was telling them and kept doing the wrong nails shapes and colours because they didn't listen my gel nails then began to peel off hours after getting them and that's not to mention that the pain in of them was extremely poor definitely wouldn't waste my time or money there again another one says usual staff were not there went for a pedicure and gel nails didn't get wiggly chair and fuck so fuck blah, 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 foot soak he was too busy talk taking calls um there was loads of screaming in the background but also because I feel a review is a person's opinion which it is and everyone can have different experiences I'm not actually gonna name the salon that I go to because I just don't want to affect someone's business in that way if this video got a lot of views it could really affect someone's business so I'm not gonna do that and I don't think people are naming salons I'm not sure if they are but I'm not gonna be naming the salon and um, plus it's quite close to where I live as well so um, so yeah, some more reviews um, from here. I say, dirty, filthy premises, no sanitation, just in and out, no hygiene whatsoever. One put, made my nails too short and all different lengths, definitely not happy. Also, they are currently really sore. I asked for coffin and they looked square, not coming here again, rip off. Yeah, so this is the reviews i'm gonna head there now we're gonna go and get my nails done so basically i have acrylics on one snapped off and then i have my other ones on so i'm gonna get um infills and then one replacement nail and i really really want a fancy design and i mean i picked the worst time in the world to try and get a fancy design but I want this, which I'm gonna put on, and I think they are beautiful. I think they're so stunning. They're like Burberry inspired, and I love them. They're so me. So I'm gonna go try and get these nails from the wear salon in my area. Let's go, huns. Okay, so I've pulled up at where the nail salon is. Now, I wasn't able to get an appointment. I rang up and asked if I could have an appointment, and they said, no appointments. You just have to come in and wait. So I was like, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Can I just okay, so at this point I'm walking upstairs to the restroom. It's a little bit unmodern. I get to the restroom and yeah, it's a bit messy. It's not decorated very well at all. Um, and as you can see on the ceiling, which I'm trying to show you here, it's peeling off. The ceiling is basically all coming off. There was a hole, which I was scared in case a rat was going to just come at us. Um, yeah, the ceiling was all patchy. I didn't actually use the toilet because it wasn't the cleanliness. I mean, they could have been getting it redecorated, but it didn't give us the redecoration type of vibe, you know? Moving on to the actual nails, I showed the salon owner what pattern I wanted and they requested that I had to pick the colours, which was a bit random. I thought they would have picked the colour based on the picture, but no, so here's me trying to find a colour. 
Getting the nails done was actually okay, like I said, apart from the fact that um, my cuticles were pulled off. But apart from that, it was a pretty normal process. Wasn't different to my other salon in any way. This is me just showing you that the salon is completely empty. Um, there was nobody else there but me. 2,000 years later. So, I just want to say that I didn't get the best footage in the salon. Okay, I need somewhere which is going to have good lighting. Is that good lighting? No, because it makes us look washed out, but it's better. So, I didn't get the best of footage in the salon. One, because I was the only person there until I was literally leaving and then somebody else walked in. So, it was really awkward. It was me and three members of staff, so it was really awkward. So, I try to get what I can. I'm really sorry that it's not the best. Okay, so nails let's talk the, the tootsies so i feel like i asked for quite a hard design i know that what i wanted the baby and style pa pattern was quite hard um okay well the price these nails cost me 22 pound i'm gonna let you see them in a sec 22 pound is super super cheap because infills at the place where i would regularly go with a pattern would usually be around 30 pounds so it's much cheaper than my usual place okay okay that's the first thing so the experience of the salon the members of staff were really really polite really lovely they were foreign um so they didn't speak the best of english but that's fine they were really lovely really accommodating let me use the toilet now the toilet was in a bit of a state um the ceiling was like coming down and it was scruffy the toilet was disgusting not gonna lie the interior of the actual shop was okay i would say six out of ten it wasn't modern it wasn't like really nice looking but it wasn't disgusting i mean it wasn't the cleanest of places and it wasn't like modern modernly done out however it was okay i've been to worse places than this apart from the bathroom the bathroom was pretty look um but the actual salon i'm gonna say was okay not the nicest of places i've ever been but definitely not the worst staff are really accommodating there was nobody there but me which is a bit weird because then i don't know why they don't let you book an appointment but i suppose it's because you don't really need to but yeah there was nobody there but me um so i went in got straight sat down and literally was in about an hour which is really really quick because my usual salon can take two sometimes even three hours so it was really really quick okay now let's talk nails so i was getting infills so the shape of my nails were Coffin and I said I wanted to keep them coffin so I think the shape's pretty good the pattern now it was a gentleman who was doing the Burberry pattern on my nails and I think it's okay it's just smudged and he seen it was smudged and he didn't like offer a place and I said at the end I went oh um it's a shame it's smudged thinking like he would turn around and say like yeah i'll fix it and he didn't he was like yeah it's he, he was like he said yeah it's hard because of attention to detail and i was like yeah well but anyway let, let me show you the nails okay so this is nail number one a nude nail i like the shape of it the length's good oh by the way i don't know if this is normal okay I don't know if this is normal, but it's definitely not normal in the salon I usually go to, but you can tell me if it's normal in other salons. He took all my cuticles off. He was got these like plier things and he pulled all my cuticles off and they were like bleeding. I've never ever had my cuticles pulled off before and it was a very weird experience. And then at the end of the trip, okay, at the end of the trip, I had my hand like on here and he put some oil on my hand and he was proper massaging my hand, bending my fingers right back. Like I couldn't record because it was so awkward like i try to get as much footage as i can but it was like and plus when you've got your hands there it's like but yeah he was bending me fingers i'm sure he was trying to crack them and he was like doing this with my hand like it was a bit weird um but yeah he pulled all my cuticles off so now i'm cuticleless is that normal because i'm my salon doesn't pull my cuticles off i don't know if that's normal i'm probably gonna get an infection <sighs> because i'm sure you need your cuticles i'm sure they prevent infection okay my phone is actually showing up the nails more than my camera so can you see this nail here how it's smudged like i get that it's really hard in attention to detail and can you see my missing bloody cuticle um but yeah so i get that they're really hard nails and do require attention to detail but like it's the fact i feel he 
brush them slightly and then also what i was saying earlier that bit's actually meant to be nude there you seen the state of my cuticles like he literally pulled my cuticles off and now they look all ratty like have you seen them but anyway yeah so that bit's meant to be nude and he's done it white so he did the pattern wrong which okay but then obviously look they're smudged and like yeah this is it um my 22 pound nails oh my god so yeah i'm cute to colors they're, they're all right from a distance they look cute look baby inspired you get the gist so they're all right from a distance they look cute but when you really inspect the nail the they are they are not the neatest um this hand again this hand's probably a bit neater but again there's a random bit of white there when there's not really meant to be a bit of white there this is this nail they're just a bit rushed like i feel like he had didn't have much time so he kind of just rushed them yeah so for 22 pound i need to stop whining because they are cheaper than my usual salon however i, I feel like the shape the nails are fine my cuticles are hurting a bit though because he's like pulled them off um and yeah okay they're a bit messy but they're not the worst nails in the world okay you wouldn't look at these and think they're the worst nails in the world you would just think they're a bit bit messed it up but yeah this was the video about i went to the worst rated salon in my area i really hope that you've enjoyed this video if you would like us to do any more of these let us know but i'm a bit cautious i don't really do want want to do any food ones because i don't ah! oh me seat don't ah! oh me seat belt just moved and i thought to mom was coming to attack us and kill us and i thought it was the end of me life gee so i will do more of these videos as if you if you've got any video good ideas i'm not doing a hairdresser one because i really love my hairdresser ross and i'm not ruining my hair for a video so i won't do a hairdresser one i don't really want to do a restaurant type of one one because i don't want to get really ill and sick and then two just because I don't really want to eat bad rated food you know i like food and i like my food to be nice i may do a hotel once so if you'd like us to see where i stay in the worst rated hotel in newcastle let me know but yeah i really hope that you've enjoyed this video it was something different jumped on the challenge bandwagon and without further ado, tat -tat, i'll let you go and i'll see you very shortly for another video bye <laughs>